Are you thinking of selling a vintage home in Salt Lake City? I have three tips for you to get the highest price and the fastest sale possible. As a vintage homeowner myself, ours was built in 1887. I understand how these homes and their unique quirks are part of their charm, but when you go to sell, there's a few tips to preparing them that differs from selling a newer home. Number one, staging helps to minimize those really awkward spaces while it highlights the special charm that a vintage home has. Second, buyers have some common fears around buying a vintage home, but you can alleviate that by having any inspections, documentation, or even having some of those done in advance to give to buyers to help calm them down. Lastly, make sure you declutter like crazy because these homes tend to have very small closets, so they need to be cleaned out before you list your home. So let's talk about the staging point that I made initially. Here's an example. Very often, vintage homes have an area in the back of the house that's been enclosed that one day way back when used to be a porch. Now it is this kind of funky space, usually right off the kitchen, leading to the basement, and then there's a landing, and it's just this wide open space. And it basically feels like wasted space unless you give it a purpose. By staging, if you put a tiny little round table there, a couple of chairs, make it a coffee spot because quite often those rooms also have a view into the backyard so they're really pretty. Stage that space as either a mudroom or a coffee spot. You've given it purpose and you instantly added value to your home. If you would like more information on these three tips plus quite a few more on how to make sure you sell your vintage home for the most money possible, give me a call. I am Erica Wiggins and I am your Salt Lake City Vintage Home Specialist.